I'm here with uh, Chris Twitterbar at uh, Hazeltine. Uh, Chris, talk a little bit about the interns and your mindset about interns in general and what you've done for the kids here. Well, I think as a superintendent, there's an obligation to really, you know, get these guys ingrained into the industry and show them how to be leaders. And that's what we've tried to do with our guys this year. And it's not just about getting them out here to work at Hazeltine and be a part of the Ryder Cup, but it's about putting them in a leadership role and getting them to be important to how the golf course looks. And our interns that we had this year have been vital to, as with our as our whole staff has been, to vital to how the golf course has been. And they, they're leaders and they're leading teams this week and they're showing these people, superintendents from around the country and around the world, how to do what we do. And, and uh, as, a, as a, a former intern yourself, you really get it, don't you? You, you? you put the kids in a position of making decisions for themselves, thinking themselves. Well, I think that's important because if you, you can come out and do the job, and we can all do the job and say, hey, go mow greens, go rake bunkers. But when you understand why you're making the decisions you make, why do you rake the bunkers like this? Why do we do it this way instead of that way? Why do we mow on this day? Why do we not mow on this day? Those kind of decisions are the decisions that ultimately as a superintendent you have to be able to make. And getting them exposure to those is, is really important. You've been a great steward of, of, of growing the profession itself. Talk about how you've championed the idea of getting a student to me to send overseas. Talk about the, the profession in general and the weakness we have in the colleges today of people interested in this profession. Well, it's, it's dwindling, and the college numbers, the numbers of students are, are becoming small, and being at a facility like like we are, and with the Ryder Cup coming up, we've been able to get a lot of interns. We haven't had a problem with that, but other places struggle. And so one thing we try to do with our staff is really show them how much fun this business can be. That's why I do it. That's why I got into it, and I want it to be like that for, for all the individuals that work for us. We've got two individuals on our staff in particular who started with us four years ago and have realize that they enjoy this, that they like the golf course business on a, on a level more than just this is a fun summer job, and now they want to get into it, and they want to go to school, and they want to eventually become interns. One individual is really interested in the Ohio State program and going overseas, which I think is fantastic. What about uh, the kids that I have here? Just talk about the young man from Australia, Simon, and the young man from England, and what they bring to the staff from a cultural standpoint. I mean... They, they, they seem to gel so well, and they use the term uh, Minnesota, you know, the, 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 the nice, Minnesota nice, they call it, about the people here. Yeah, and, you know, it's been great having them. It's great to add different cultural elements to our staff because we're, most of us are from here. We grew up here. We're, from, we're around here. But to add those different elements uh, that Matt brings from, from coming from England and, us, and Simon brings coming from Australia, you know, one quick story is that Simon got me introduced to Vegemite. We started talking about it one day. And he said, I've got some, I'll bring it in. And, and then we, we, and we ended up tasting it and, and trying it. And, and I actually don't think it's that bad. So that's the kind of thing that uh, the cultural experience goes both ways in this. The intern gets it and the, the club gets it as well. That's awesome. But we, we want to see more young people coming into the States. Talk about the superintendent in the state and how giving you are as, as, a, as a general group, I mean, of how much you want them, you want to share that knowledge with them. I, I, I think that's what's really special about this industry is the sharing of knowledge, whether it be superintendent to superintendent or superintendent down to intern. We're always willing to share what we do, why we do it, and how we do it. That's a big thing that I look at when I have these interns, and, and that's something we try to do every day. Well, we really appreciate what you've done for our Ohio State interns, and you've been so open to the first day when I when I met you about taking these kids on and we appreciate it and we hope more young people will come into the states for for this kind of an internship in the future and we, we, we hope we can get that support from from young people like yourself in doing this well I can tell anybody if you're looking at an internship program or you want to have it you want to bring somebody in international talk to Mike talk, talk to the Ohio State program and really look at it. it's a good program it's great to wow. have these people we appreciate your time and best of luck the rest of the week yep thank you thank you